Hello everyone, it's Mesmer reporting for Corvia and today we are making a special video about having a pet in Korea. If you are interested in getting a furry baby, or in this case, a spiky baby, stay tuned for some tips and some things you should consider before getting a pet in Korea. Alright, first things first, you are going to have to consult with your school and your landlord to see if it's okay to have a pet. Some landlords will say, alright, go for it. Some will ask for a fee just in case there's damage that your pet does and some will absolutely not allow it. Please don't try to sneak in an animal because if your landlord finds out, your school will find out and that's just going to be very awkward. So let's try to avoid that situation. Alright, so if you want to get a dog or a cat here in Korea, you definitely want to think about taking them back home with you once your contract is over. It does take some research, it does take some time, and it definitely does take some money to take them back to your home country but it's definitely worth it. There have been some cases where people don't want to pay the transportation costs and they end up abandoning their animals at an animal shelter. What they're not realizing is that some of the shelters are kill shelters. So let's try to avoid that and definitely consider taking your pet back home to your home country. Next is considering adoption. Korea has many pet stores here, but believe it or not, purchasing from them, you are helping the puppy mill business stay alive. And adoption has a lot of great benefits. A lot of the animals here in foster homes have the human interaction, they're up to date on their shots, they're just very healthy, and they're probably potty trained. So I really recommend that you check out this website that I'm going to leave here. I also recommend you visit your local shelter. I got one of my puppies at a local shelter and the fee was only 3,000 won. Adoption is definitely worth it. Alright, let's talk vaccines. Your dog or your cat is definitely going to need their vaccines. I believe the rabies one is required. Let me talk to you about my experience with the, taking my animal to the vet. Uh, when I took my first puppy, it cost about 100,000 won the first time um, for her first shot, and then it was spaced out every couple weeks. So every couple weeks, I would pay about 50,000 won for her shots, and we did this for about three or four months. So it does cost money, but it's very spaced out. Also, you want to have some extra money saved up just in case your pet gets sick. Both my puppies got sick on the same week with different illnesses, so it really helps to have that money saved up. Alright, this one is very important. We are English teachers, so for the most part we do have a 9 to 5 job. That means that our pet is going to be here by themselves for about 8 or more hours. You definitely want to consider buying some things so your pet will not be bored. That does not mean putting them in the bathroom for 8 hours, that's going to leave them traumatized for life. Um, also random tip, I had a spare uh, smartphone so I downloaded an app that keeps an eye on them, kind of like a little CCTV and I could also talk to them um, and I could see what they were doing all day so that really really helps out. Alright, last but not least is patience and dedication. Having a pet takes a lot of patience, especially here in Korea because our apartments are small so you're going to have to consider all these things and making it work with your new pet. Also, during seasonal changes, they might shed a lot, so you do have some cleaning to do. Other than that, it's definitely worth it. If you take these things into consideration, you should have no problem having a pet here in Korea. That is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please support me by subscribing to my YouTube. Also support Corbia by subscribing to their YouTube and liking their Facebook page. Thank you very much once again, and I hope to see you all soon.